What is up, you crazy fishing fanatics? It is Ian here, and guess where I am? Beautiful Cozumel, Mexico. Today, I'm going to be going out. We're going to be doing some trigger fish bottom fishing, as well as some trolling. We're going to see if we can't catch some mahi, some kings, some tuna, some sailfish, something. But we're definitely going to catch some trigger fish. But I'll get to you on the boat. Here's the rig. We got a little pen squitter on a six foot boat rod. Got a nice little dropper rig with some little piece of squid. We're gonna see if we can't catch some triggers. We're just gonna cast it out, let it kind of kind of drift. We're gonna see what we can't do. Hooked up, got a nice trigger fish on there, I think. Take the squid off the bottom. Got himself a good one. Grunt. Got a little grunt. I think I might have one on too. You got one? Yep. A caño. It's little. Another grunt. Another grunt. Oh, I got one too. Come back, come back. Come back. It's going? It was, it was going. Okay. I think it was. Another one. I got one. You got one? You got one? on another one. Size. Got a whole bucket. Caught ourselves a whole bunch of grunts, triggers, everything. So now we're trolling some lures like that we normally cast in jacks. We're gonna try to troll and see if we can't get a barracuda or something, you know, smaller on the smaller lures. And then we're gonna head offshore a little bit more and we're gonna try to get some some of the bigger fish, you know, your mahi and whatnot. So everyone this is this is why they're called trigger fish. So right here, first of all, the teeth. They got some nice big nasty teeth. But right here, this this little horn will not go down. You can smack it; it will never go down. But this little thing right here—it's the trigger to let it go down. So you push it. That's how you get it to go down. So you can just push this; it won't. But you gotta you gotta get that for it to go down. How cool is that? just like a trigger stopped trolling and we started doing some bottom fishing michael's got a nice one but it got a little a little uh close to the engines got a little tangled up so we're gonna see if we can't get this guy out Go. Go, it's under. It's under. Go, go, go. Oh, did it come off? Came off. 
Dang. I don't even know I hooked this guy, but look at the colors on this trigger fish. Wow. Look at them croak. Look at the... It's the same family as uh, trigger fish. Yeah, it's a really pretty trigger fish. What is that, a queen? Queen trigger? Queen trigger? No, no that's a black derby. Black derby. G-O-N? Some of these fish are just really, really cool and really pretty. And it's crazy to think that from Texas, where we are in Galveston, straight south is about the same distance as us to like Florida. So, straight south, and look how clear this water is. You see, straight to the bottom in 60 feet of water, you know, we're fishing out here. You, you can, it, it's unreal. You can see the fish all the way down to the bottom. It is, it is crazy. Michael's has made a really, really nice run. Really nice. Get it? Huh? <laughs> Came off? No. Come on, Michael. After that last clip, we ended up heading offshore and doing some trolling. And we didn't catch anything. We drove around for five and a half hours and then get a single bite. So we came back and then throughout the course of the week, besides going fishing, we also did some scuba diving. So I'm going to show you some of the clips of some of the coolest stuff we found and even me killing a invasive species lionfish all on camera. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please drop a like comment if you want to see more spearfishing or scuba diving tight gear again. And I will see you in the next episode, which I have a gut feeling we're going to be going shark fishing and getting a pretty big one soon.